Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh Today, our group will present about the self-driving car technology Subject code is KJ3443 So, this is my group members The first one is Muhammad Akmal Azim bin Sabri Matic number 1191686 The second one is Ahmad Zaki bin Muhammad Zubir Matic number 1191657 And me, Nur Huda binti Masafi'i Matic number 1192727 Introduction of Self Car Technology Self Driving Car Technology has become a popular subject of discussion these days. Self Driving Car might just bring about the biggest societal revolution since well, the Industrial Revolution. And it appears that everyone getting in on it. A self driving car is a car that uses a combination of sensor, camera, radar, and artificial intelligence to travel between destinations without a human operator. To qualify as fully autonomous, a vehicle must be able to navigate without human intervention to a predetermined destination over roads that have not been adop adopted for its use. A human passenger is not required to take control of the vehicle at any time, nor is a human passenger required to be present in the vehicle at all. A self-driving car can go anywhere a traditional can go and do everything that an experienced human driving driver does. Artificial Intelligent Technology Powers Self-Driving Car System Developers of self-driving cars use vast amount of data from image recognition system along with machine learning and neural network to build a system that can drive autonomously. The neural network identify patterns in the data which is fed to the machine learning algorithm that data includes image from cameras on self-driving cars from which the neural Network learn to identify traffic light, trees, car, pedestrian, street sign, and other parts of any given driving environment. For example, Google's self-driving car project called Waymo uses a mix of sensor lidar, which is light detection and ringing of technology similar to radar and cameras, and combine all of the data those system generate identify everything around the vehicle and predict what this object might do next. This happens in fraction of a second. Maturity is important for the system. The more the system drives, the more data it can incorporate into its learning algorithm, enabling to make more nonchet driving choice. Next will be the how does self car technology work. Current advanced driver assistance system ADAS provide important safety function function such as pre collision warning, steering assistance, and automatic braking. Self driving vehicle take this technology to the next level by completely removing the need for a driver. The Society of Automatic Engineers currently defines six levels of driving automation ranking from level 0 which is fully manual to level 5 which is fully driveless. This level has been adopted by US Department of Transportation. We start with level 0. The automated system has no control over the vehicle but may prone the driver over hazards. Level 1, the driver and the automated system share control of the vehicle. Example of this can be found in most cars equipped with others. Level 2, the automated system is capable of taking full control of the vehicle. However, the driver must be ready to intervene if the system fails to recognize a potential hazard. Level 3, the automated system takes full control of the vehicle and the passenger can safely take their attention away from driving from driving tasks, however, however, they must still be able to intervene. Level 4, driver can safely divert all attention away from driving tasks and let the automated system take full control. This functionality is currently limited to specific geofence areas and other relatively controlled environment. Level 5, the last one, no human intervention is required. This will be the way I choose the technology, self driving car technology. It is because of the greater road safety which is automation can help the radio reduce the number of crashes on our road. road. Based on government data identify driver behavior or error as a factor in 94% of crashes. And self driving car vehicle can help reduce driver error. High, higher level of autonomy have the potential to reduce risky and dangerous driver behaviors. The greatest promise may be reducing the devastation of impaired driving, drug driving, Unbacked vehicle occupant and spreading and distraction.
Besides that, self-driving car technology can be the emergency transportation. The implementation of self-driving cars vehicle will allow to receive emergency medical care faster than ever before. With traffic congestion reduced from our streets, emergency vehicle will be able to reach their destination much more quickly. Additionally, drivers who are having a medical emergency will be able to automatically adjust the course of their vehicle to the nearest ER without having to worry about operating the vehicle. The last one is shipping and delivery. The, ship, the shipping industry tends to gain a lot from self-driving vehicle, especially since the vast majority of com companies still really rely on human labor to move product from one location to another. Take for instance your standard shipping trailer that travel from state to state in the US with driverless vehicle, this trailer won't have to stop due to driver fatigue, but hunger and call of nature or other human country concern which should reduce shipping time by a considerable amount. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Malawi. My number is 119186. Thank you Nurul Gudal for the presentation. Now I will continue to my part. Uh, the topic is uh, the issues regarding self-driving cars technology. Many may think self-driving cars are still a long way away from reality. The truth is, the evolution of automated driving system is very much underway today. In fact, most modern vehicles already contain some degree of automation. As technology develops, vehicles will increasingly become more and more automated. Projections for the global autonomous car market are expected to be at $60 billion by 2030. Since we are wading into somewhat uncharted territories, experts have been weighing the pros and cons of self-driving vehicles. First is prevention of car crashes. Of the 30,133 vehicles fatalities in 2017, 94% of the crashes were due to human error. Computers based on sophisticated systems and algorithms will essentially eliminate costly human error. Major causes of accidents including drunk or distracted driving will not be factors with self-driving cars. It is estimated self-driving cars can reduce accident by up to 90%. Second, societal cost saving. One of the major factors when weighing the pros and cons of automated cars is uh, the cost to society. Reports have shown that autonomous vehicles can help save society approximately 800 billion each year. The reduction in car crash related costs reduce uh, strain on the healthcare system, more efficient transportation, better fuel saving and more can all contribute to the overall society, societal cost saving. Next, number 3, traffic efficiency. One of the major benefits of self-driving cars is their ability to communicate with each other. With this ability to communicate in real time, cars would be able to travel efficiently and optimize the distance from each other. They would also determine the best route for you to take, as to eliminate bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic jam. Next, the number four, better access and mode of transportation. For those who cannot or choose not to drive, Self-driving cars could be a safe and reliable mode of transportation. Those with a disability or elderly would be able to get into a self-driving car without putting others at risk. Cities with limited public transit coverage would also benefit from self-driving cars. Self-driving cars can easily reach areas where its infrastructure is lacking. And lastly, environmentally friendly. Another significant factor in self-driving cars uh, pros and cons debate in is the environment. Autonomous cars will likely be electric rather than utilizing internal combustion engines. Furthermore, the consistent speed self-driving cars will be traveling and will reduce constant braking and accelerating. These factors will all contribute to reducing emissions and becoming more environmentally sustainable. the cons of self-driving cars. Number one, security issues. One of the potential cons about self-driving cars is the possibility of hacking. To have automated cars out and coordinate with each other, 
they would need to share the same network protocol if a large number of cars share the same network. However, they would be susceptible to a hack. Even a small hack would wreak significant damage on busy roads by causing collisions and gridlock traffic. Next is job losses. Those who depend on driving to make a living may find their career obsolete uh, with the introduction of self-driving cars. Those in the trucking industry, bus drivers, taxi drivers will all need to find new employment. Fast food delivery and Uber drivers would also find themselves replaced by automated cars. Next, initial cost. While self-driving cars may produce significant societal cost savings in the long term, the initial cost of automated vehicles may be astronomical. Some experts estimate it could cost an additional $250,000 per vehicle to own a fully autonomous vehicle. Of course, as the new technology matures, costs should come down. In the, early, in the early stage, however, the barrier to entry may be too high for the general population. And the last one is machine error. Machine error must be taken into consideration when examining the pros and cons of driverless cars. While most agree self driving cars will likely prevent more accidents from happening, it does not completely eliminate the risk of accident caused, caused by machine error. Furthermore, if the software of any part of the vehicle fails, an autonomous vehicle could put the driver in more danger than if the driver was to personally take control of the vehicle. That's all for me. Thank you. Contribution Malaysia aspires to be a regional leader in manufacturing, engineering and innovative product development. The National Automotive Policy 2020 aims to strengthen Malaysia's automotive sector via new technology research and development. Particularly in the fields of next generation vehicles, industrial revolution 4.0 and ability to move around as a service. The Ministry of Transport in collaboration with the Sepang Municipal Council has designed the Cyberjaya Malaysia Autonomous Vehicle as Malaysia's first public road with 7km testing road for autonomous vehicles. In September 2016, Reka, a local R&D tech business, announced the development of an autonomous proton pertana with level 3 automation. Sepang also launched a self-driving proton Azora in April 2020, utilizing the autonomous system created by Movita and Ericsson as part of the 5G Malaysia initiative. Moving on to suggestion on driverless car in Malaysia. In my perspective, the autonomous vehicle industry has a high value and will be a huge benefit to Malaysia. As a result, we must focus on mass manufacturing in order for the sector to be extensively used. Infrastructure's availability should also be prioritized as demand develops to ensure consumer safety and comfort. This factor is important since autonomous cars are expected to completely replace automobiles in the future. To defend itself from malfunction and hacking, autonomous cars, on the other hand, require the proper security measures. Keep in mind that high level of security imply high level of safety. As a consequence, in the event of a collapse, the government must also decide on unambiguous regulations. And finally, Malaysia should be prepared for the mobility revolution since it will allow us to enhance a variety of aspects and prevent more accidental tragedies. This is because self-driving cars can offer much greater safety measures because they won't operate until specific conditions are satisfied. They are also user-friendly because they don't require any special skills to operate. The elderly, disabled and even children may utilize this to get their work done safely and successfully. The cars can also considerably elevate traffic congestion since they move so safely and in accordance with the rules that an accident is unlikely to occur. And last but not least, we may once again enjoy a healthy lifestyle, particularly in metropolitan areas because driverless cars will undoubtedly contribute to reduce pollution and emissions. That's all from us. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.